Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing and today's episode is going to be on hand traps and frames and this concept is used to really control your opponent's hands and I also like it to create some angles and I'm going to show you different ways and different setups again it's unlimited on the ways you can use them you can use them to set up angles to throw your punches your kicks your knees and some of the MMA fighters it's even good at creating angles but what it also creates is good defense is when I'm inside and I'm controlling my partner's hands to move and create space and angles I'm keeping their hands pinned to them and this way they try to open up and good hand trapping and framing you can trap and use parries off of that as well so there's so many options but the whole idea is being able to control your opponent's hand and create angles as well as keep their hands pinned to avoid you getting hit so hand trapping and frames what the key is, is I want to get inside or close distance and I want to feel really safe. And that's the first way I'm going to use it. So if Tariq and I are lined up, if I just walk in to this lead hand, I could walk into some power shots. So the key to the hand trap is to be able to control the hand and keep the frame. And by frame, any contact my hand has on my opponent, I am creating a bridge, I'm creating a frame. And at this point, he could attack and we're connected and I could attack. So the key to my hands frames, I like to be able to step out to create a slight angle. And this way it shuts down his hands on his lead attack. So even if he does jab me, I could block, but as soon as I pin here, I shut that hand down. So I'm gonna use my hand, um, I like to do it almost as a slap sometimes. Some people throw a hook as a slap and I can control the hand that way and the shoulder. So when I take that angle, what the best thing about it is from this angle, if I pressure here, he's going to resist on it. And then as soon as he resists, boom, I shoot my straight right down the middle. So it's good at creating offense. It's really good for shooting your rear straights. So I can come in here and shoot. Same thing if I want to switch stance, he pressures, I can pin this hand, shoot across this way as well. But it also creates angles for my kicks. You see it a lot of Muay Thai pad holders will actually walk towards the partner, so when they create the angle, they throw the kick off the arm or the pad. He comes in this way, I can circle out frame this way and kick off the arm as well. It also creates the angle for the knee. If we're coming in, I can create the pin and the hand frame and then I can attack that leg. So if he tries to open up, I'm in control now and I can hand fight and play. So for example, if I come in and I'm here and even if he throws that other hand, boom, I could at least block it, control, take my angles and attack that way as well. If you're really good and really flexible, you can actually use the hand frames to head kicks and push offs, um, come off to the body, so many different ways. So as a coach, you have to figure out and break down which ones you wanna work down. I like to do what I call my zombie drill. And this is one of the easiest ways to work it. You could work it with strikes and without strikes. So the first time we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it with no strikes, just hand pins, hand frames, and this way you can create and use your mind to be able to set up it. So we don't have much space here because of the camera, but we're gonna just go back and forth with the drill. We'll start behind here. So what Tariq's gonna do, he's just gonna walk towards me and I'm gonna create my hand pin, my angles, I can switch stances, I could move, and it, you could even move in circles around if I want to. He comes, he pressures, I could move. So I'm controlling my position and my body as my opponent goes. Okay, switch, if I go with Tariq, he can use the same concept. Okay, no strikes right now. We're just warming up, and this can be done as a warm-up drill. I'm just walking, he's controlling my hands, creating his angles. Now we're gonna switch again, now I'm gonna create some strikes. You can see sometimes I pressure and I hold, sometimes I might double push and hold to create offense as well. Okay, always controlling the hands. Beautiful for angles and setting up my rear straight. Okay, I could even pin and switch if he's pressuring, I can pin and switch at the same time. Okay, always controlling the hand. Switch. Kicks and knees as well. Good. 
Now, in order to improve this, what you can do is you can add it to different combinations and build it into the bigger picture. So for example, I might throw combo one to shell my opponent. Then I might use a hand frame and throw off a combination. Okay, I might use the zombie drill. I might draw someone in. Okay, because you can use it as a draw. As he's coming forward, okay, I could walk him, pin, angle, shoot. Or if he's going backwards, if you watch some of the other videos, I can use the hand pin of the frame with my shift. Very good, something like Triple G style. So I can shift off and then shoot. I could back step with the hand frame or I could shift, shoot, okay? So play around with different controls of having the hand. There's so many different ways to do it that it can become overwhelming. But the classic, the easiest, is controlling the hand from the outside to create your angles. Okay, so try the hand frames, play around with the different ways of setting them up with a shift, with a back step, and to create angles. Remember, use your punches, kicks, and knees, and even your elbows. Again, Tariq being an MMA fighter as well, as soon as he takes the angle with a hand frame, as soon as he has here, he can come in and take me down, off balance me, and at this point, my stance becomes um, compromise and the structure in my stance breaks once he takes that angle. Okay, hand frames, hand traps, pins, whatever you want to call it, is a very unique concept in fighting and a lot of times we don't use it enough. We sit there and we rely on good defense but again using those frames could really create different angles that you wouldn't have otherwise and it keeps you defensive. So play around with it as a draw attack, play around with it with a shift, play around with it especially one of my favorites is if you're fighting north versus south, which is one fighter is orthodox, the other is southpaw, stepping around and lead hand control becomes a very important part of the game. So if I'm here and I'm in open stance, stepping around that southpaw is a very good advantage in using that lead hand. So try that against north versus south, do the same types of drill. Maybe use the zombie as a southpaw. Change the angles and it's endless. So make sure if you like these videos and you're enjoying them, make sure you like and you subscribe and share with all your friends. That's how kickboxing in the sport grows. If you're liking all the gear that I'm wearing in these videos, all you have to do is head over to bazookasquad.com to pick up your own. It helps support the channel and it helps support the bazooka brand. So thanks everyone for the continued support and we'll see you next week.